morning. Cute little boy, don't you think? <laughs> Some of the boys yesterday went off. But, uh, um, that stage of my life, um, no one knew that 50 years on, I was going to be known as Wheelchair Steve and have a business of that name and a website, wheelchairsteve.com, where I talk to groups, schools, and organizations, helping children to hopefully be motivated and have a positive outlook on life, which is which what our part. At that time of life, no one knew that I would be spending my life dealing with disability. But I've always done that with a positive, can-do attitude and taken on challenges that have set before me. Indeed, if anybody tells me that I can't do something, it's like waving a red rag to a bull, and that inspires me to, to take on the challenge. And that's what inspired me to take on those challenges like the abseil and the firewalk and the parasail, where I was delighted to, to raise money for charity, as you saw at the end there, for Sir Bobby Robson. At that time in my life, I didn't know how I was going to play the cards that had been dealt. I like to think of life as a, as a game of cards, and throughout life we're all dealt different cards at different times, and like in any game of cards, whether I'm sure you've played cards many times, you have to play those cards to win as best you can. About about the time that photograph was taken, um, doctors were diagnosing that I had a condition called spina bifida, and that affected my body in, in various ways, and for the first eight years of my life, I spent a lot of that time in hospital, undergoing surgery and treatment, and uh, I was left with problems that meant I spent most of my time in a wheelchair, although I can, I can walk a little bit, and my legs are, are affected. But as far as the cards are concerned, I like to think of them as, as these two cards that I was dealt. The two is my right leg and the three is my left. My left slightly better, but uh, they're not so good cards in a, in a game of cards. But fortunately, the body wasn't affected, and, and the, so I like to think of them as the, as the king and queen. They're the power in my body. Um, so they're, they're, the, they're the good cards that I have. But if you pay cards, those cards alone aren't, aren't winning cards, are they? But the card that does make that good is this one. The Ace of Hearts. King, Queen, Ace, one, two, three. They're winning hands. But the Ace, the Ace symbolizes, the Ace of Hearts symbolizes a lot in our lives. The heart is the thing that keeps us all going. We've all got a heart, and we're actually all dealt this card when we're born. And we must look after this card in all the games that we play throughout our lives. The heart is what makes the blood flow, and when the blood stops flowing, that's life over. And that's why you hear so many stories about, about health and looking after yourselves. Heart is to do with love, isn't it? Isn't it? It's the symbol of love. We all must love ourselves to have a good life, love our family, love our friends, and try to get on with every people in the world. But as you hear in the news many times that there are problems in families and in, in the world and around the other countries, and, and love isn't always there. The heart is also to do with bravery. You might have heard of the film Braveheart. And when I was a young boy going through those uh, times in hospital, people you always used to say, you're a very brave boy, and, and, and maybe some of you have had an injection or been to the dentist and, and suffered pain and, 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 and maybe been in hospital too. And I'm sure someone said to you that you've been very brave as well. The heart is to do with honesty and truth. Someone says something to you, to you, you hear them say, cross my heart and hope to die. I'm sure many of you have heard of that expression. So again, for a, for a good life, you've got to be truthful and honest, and, and, and uh, you, you'll gain the rewards as a result of that. But I also think there's a message in, in, the, in the word ace, and uh, it's symbolized by the initial letters of ace. I think the A stands for appreciate. We all appreciate the good things in life. Perhaps the music we listen to, the food we eat. I used to appreciate the football that Newcastle United played, but at the moment I'm not appreciating that, and maybe some of you are supporters too. I know Mrs. Little is a, a, a long-time supporter. The C stands for communication. Um, things have changed a lot to do with communication over the years. I suppose a lot of you use the internet or, or mobile phones to communicate, and that hasn't been around for, for all the time. But the spoken word, the written word... When it comes to, to disabled people, if, if, you've, uh, if you've got any friends that are uh, perhaps uh, got you know, the hearing impairment, using sign language is another important way of communication. So communication and, and how we communicate with each other and talk to each other and is, is a very important part of life. And the E is for education. You're all here in this school undergoing great education that you will, will do you well in the rest of your life. And my education was somewhat different. As I said, I, I was in hospital until the age of eight. Um, I had a little bit of schooling while I was in there, 
and I was eight before I went to a proper school and I went to a school called Pendow which is just up the West Road um, it's moved on from there now um, but I passed the exams at the age of 11 and I was allowed to go to the local grammar school fortunately where I went on and did O levels and A levels and, and went on to university and you saw the photograph there and as you probably saw my hair is a lot longer then than it is now and uh, it, um, you know, maybe uh, unlike you I'm sure the, the boys yesterday some of them are going to end up like me but I'm sure your golden locks will last forever. Um, unfortunately we're out of time, uh, it, it's been a pleasure to, to have talked to you today and, and I'm uh, really delighted to have had this opportunity. Um, I'd like to leave you with a little bit of homework if, if you don't mind, but uh, don't worry, you don't have to hand it in tomorrow. It's, um, it's something, in fact, you can spend the rest of your life working on. Um, I'd just like you to think about the cards that you've been dealt and, and think about the ace. You've got that ace. And remember the messages in the ace. The love, the bravery, the honesty and the truth. And remember the words ace. Appreciate, communicate, educate. It's been a pleasure talking to you all. Have a enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Steve, thanks very much again. Now, I'm, I'm one of the few people in story in the fortunate position to hear that twice. And there's so much in it that you pick up the second time that you kind of possibly miss even the first time. But if you've only picked up half of what's been said this morning, You've got a really important message there. Steve, that, that, that was fantastic. Thank you very much for such an inspirational start.